So here we are on the Macallan Beat, the banks of the Bonnie River Spey, and what better a place to discuss that minefield, which is selecting the right line weight for your double-handed or spay road. So that's what the video is about today, and we'll just delve right into it right now. <laughs> that the purpose of the weight of the fly line is to compress, bend or flex this road as much as possible prior to releasing that energy into the fly line. Um, so the guy on the left is me and the guy on the right is me. The road and line set up are exactly the same but the only thing I'm going to do differently is on the left I'm going to apply what I would consider to be a normal technique. It's probably Mr. Average or Joe Bloggs casting on the left here. Generally speaking, he pushes on with his right hand and that opens up the loop. Where on the one on the right, I'm going to use a very good technique, my normal technique, and you're going to see the difference. Remember that the rod and the line are exactly the same. So, one on the left, I'm just going to roll it on a little. You'll see the rod beginning to load here and I put the red line on as a bit of a mark and you can see that the rod tip goes away above the red line and opens right up there. That's the rod unloading. You can see that I've got a straight right arm. I'll just run it back a little. Just a little push there. This is the problem with Mr. Bloggs, that area there. That pushes the compressed rod up above that line opens up the loop and ends up, well, not with the best cast. So this is what the guys that come to my casting courses come and try and fix. Whereas here on the right, remember, it's exactly the same setup. You'll see as I run the clip forward, the rod is taken is much more compressed. You can see that there's much more energy in the rod. And that happens in here. In this area here, we call the loading move. Where am I getting it from? Look at my left hand. Look at it tracking down, 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 down. That's compressing the rod, and the stop there is releasing all that energy into the line. But the important thing here, guys, is that, and girls, is the rod tip stays absolutely straight in this area here. And that's what creates that razor tight loop. Yep. So, you could ask an expert caster here on the right what his perception is for this particular uh, road. What would be the weight of the line he would use on the road? This guy on the right could use a line that is maybe four, five, six grams lighter than the guy on the right. The guy on the right, sorry, the guy on the left. So the guy on the left here, the guy we're looking at just now, look, he's going to need a much heavier line to compress that rod even more, given that technique that he's using. Because remember, this is exactly the same setup we're using, but only with a different technique. And knowing that... The function of the line, and of the weight of the line, is to bend this road and flex the road. We know that this guy on the left needs a much heavier line than that guy on the right. And there you go. There's why we have so much confusion. So the best plan is to, if you can, to try before you buy, basically. Go to a shop and get the road into your hand and ask the advice of the people in the shop. Or maybe come back online with me here, and I can give you as much help as you ever require with regard to this, because I know the subject inside out. So there you have it. There's the reason for so much confusion in this subject. Basically, we're all different. So now you know why, but does it really answer the question? What line will suit you personally when casting this road? So if you want to make an informed choice about what line will suit you, then follow the link on the screen now. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe or hit the bell notification if you don't want to miss any future videos.